Number 16 then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1, six marks, points and circles. You're given a point, P, 4K. See it says is the centre of this circle with this given equation here. And you have to show that the distance of this point from the centre of that circle is given by this expression. So at least you know you're going to get the right answer if you get there. So, first part, what's the centre of the circle? Well, you pick it out of the brackets, x minus, it's 1 that's been subtracted, and with a plus 2, it's a negative 2 that's been subtracted. So that distance is going to be the distance between those points. I think I'll just put it down this way, first of all, just using Pythagoras without having to write big square roots. So it'll be the difference in the x-coordinates. The difference in the x-coordinates are going to be, I'll start with this one, 4 take away 1. And then the difference in the y-coordinates will be k take away negative 2. Oh, expand that. So that's, no, I'll just tidy it up. 3 squared plus k plus 2 squared, which should become that then. So square the bracket, square the first, k squared, twice the product, 2k doubled, 4k, square the last, 4 plus the 9. So that gives you k squared plus 4k plus 13. But I have to write it in that form though. So that means the distance is the square root of k squared plus 4k plus 13. Part B. Hence or otherwise, find the range of values of k for which p lies outside the circle. Well, if you've got a circle with its centre 1, negative 2, and p has to be outside of it. Except on the other side. That means side. the distance, which we've called d, will have to be greater than the radius. So that's the statement we'll put down. d has to be greater than the radius. So what is the radius? There it's there. The square root of 25. r equals the square root of 25, which is 5. So the distance has to be greater than that. So I'll just put this down k squared plus 4k plus 13 has to be greater than 5. Get rid of the square roots. Square both sides. That's greater than 25. We quadratic popping up again, but this time in another form, plus 4k, and that's going to be minus 12 is greater than 0 in the form of a quadratic inequation or a quadratic inequality. You still solve it the same way. You still factorise it, because in order to solve that part of when it's greater than or less than zero, you need to know when it's equal to zero, because that's the boundary. So factorise it. Multiply to give 12 with a difference of 4, that's 2 and 6. 6 must get the greater one, the positive goes to the 6, so that must be negative. So there you've got two values. Now don't, don't, don't I put them down, and don't put down two separate any equations. Those are the values that give you zero. You'll get the answer by thinking of a picture of all the answers. This is a positive quadratic. You know when it's equal to zero. It's equal to zero at two, and it's equal to zero at negative six. So the marks for stating two and negative six for the zeros. So the graph would look like this. That's a picture of the answers. When are you positive? Greater than zero. Well, not at two, but anything greater than it. But not at six, because it is zero there, but anything less than it. Those give you positive answers. So the final answer is this. Either k is less than negative 6 or k is greater than 2. Or you might make up a table of signs, for instance, to sort that little bit out. But the picture is the easiest way because you can visualise that.